Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a video that I want to make for a very long time. It's basically a guide video telling you guys how to get through a few levels that are like harder to to clear without um, without the use of of certain cheeses. Uh, if you don't know what cheesing is in gaming, it's basically to clear clear or beat something, um, but not not through like pure skill or strength, but through some sort of weird gimmick or something like that. Um, and this has helped me clear through a lot of the levels before. If you look at my map right now, I have basically perfect clears on everything. If you just look at my world map, over here you'll see my easy, normal, um, I have all the stars, basically perfect clears on everything. If you don't know what perfect clearing um, for stages is, it's basically to get three stars, to, to never have a unit die. Um, if no unit dies after you clear the stage, then you get three stars. So basically, you just have to make it so that nobody dies while you're clearing through the stages. And that's, that's um, there, there's a strategy I use. And this strategy can also be used on certain stages that have like very, very strong AoE magic or um, physical nukes that will completely wipe your backline. And you can't, like, sometimes you can't even get a one star, but this strategy will also help you help you get through that as well. So there's two units that you need for this. These are all very, very easy to get units. They're all one star units. Um, and you don't even need them raised at all. Like you can literally use them at one stars and it's definitely still gonna work. Um, it's the Spar Toy. You can farm him on map one. And this is the Stone Golem. He's farmable, but he's he's further on in the map, I think. I can't remember, I think it's mapped seven. You, you can get him on map seven, but um, you know, if you're, if you can't clear through map seven, obviously you you won't have him. But he's he's definitely really easy to get because he's only a one star, so you can summon him from from using the gold summon. Um, so he's he's not a hard unit to get, and you don't even need to to have a lot of pieces. You just basically need like just him at one stars. I think he's one star. I think he's natural one star, right? I can't remember exactly. I can't I can't even tell now that now that I have him raised to three stars. But even if he's two stars. He's not that difficult to get, and he's not the main unit that you need because th he's actually there's a lot less physical damage than there are magical damage stages. I didn't really need him until I got to map eight, um, but with Spar Toy you can use him starting starting on map seven. So the main reason why you want these two units, you'll you'll notice that they have two very very similar skills. They have the the skill. Um, Basically, the Spar Toy has a buff that increases magical defense, or decreases magical damage taken by his allies um, by quite a lot for, for all five allies for a few seconds, basically only four seconds. So once he activates his skill, he'll block out basically all nukes and stuff, and near and vulnerable to, to magical damage. Like, you'll, you'll only be taking 12%, uh, 11%, 11 11.2% after he activates his skill. Same thing with the golem. Uh, you don't like. I actually raised my spar toy a lot higher on his his skills, but you actually don't need to have him really that high. I think like 80% even is enough. I just leveled it up a few times just so I can I can um, I can use him to, to tank a bit of damage. So uh, what you want to do? What you want to do? All right, I'll show you the stages that you can kind of use this strategy on. Um, what you want to do is you want to. Um, I think the first stage that this this strategy will be useful on is seven five. Because the stages that these this this strategy is going to be really good on is stages that have some sort of AOE nukes. So if they if they basically have like this super strong AOE nuke that completely just wrecks your backline, then you can use this to to block out damage. Or if they have some sort of nuke that like tries to that can like kill one of your units and you're aiming to get a perfect clear then you can use it right before they, they use that new. So after you run it a few times, you kind of know the how the, the enemy AI works, how their skill gauge works, and when they're going to use their nuke. So um, it's definitely not difficult to do. So for the sake of this video, I'll use 7.5 as an example, because this is probably pretty um, pretty hard stage to get perfect clear on, because the boss has a very, very strong AoE nuke. And I think even with my with my main team, I don't, I don't think I can get perfect clears on this. So it's very, very simple to do. All you have to do is, um, I'm going to put in mostly tanky units, I think. I don't want to use too much damage because this would kind of ruin the point of the video. Um, wait, I'll put in two healers. I'll put in two healers. 
and then I'll put in. Actually, wait, no, no, you can't. You can't actually use two healers. You probably need like at least one DPS. And then, and then I'll use a smart toy. Um, what you want to do is you want a frontliner that can tank damage before them. So they might not be the tankiest units because you probably don't have them like completely knocked out. Um, but I think if you raise them up to at least epic quality, it shouldn't be that difficult. Dude, you can probably do it within, within like. Within 200 daggers or so, you should definitely be able to get them to to epic quality. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run through the first stage of this like just just normally, and then when I get to stage two, I'll turn off the auto and I'll also turn off the two times. So this is a strategy I use. I usually on the second stage, what I do is if I know that they're that that I can beat them and I I can try to enter the stage uh, the third stage with full health. What I would do is I would turn off the auto and I would only use the heals on my healers and I would save the nukes on all my units. So this this will this will help you ensure that you um, you have basically everything you need when you get to the third stage. So what I do on the third stage is I I spam my nukes, especially on my hero first. I basically spam all my nukes. So I spam this, I spam this, spam this, and then spam the transformation, use my shield, and then I think his nuke's incoming right now. He's about to do it, so I, I block it with my smart toy. I buff up, attack buff, and then as you can see, um, basically they still almost none of my units took any form of magical damage and the reason why you want to want to um i think i used it too soon i think i kind of maybe fucked that up actually no, no i i i really didn't fuck it up i just i didn't have enough um i didn't have enough nukes i probably should have uh brought my my death knight instead of uh instead of succubus but that that last that last hit at the end might have killed me if i if I didn't wasn't at full HP, I'll I'll do it again. I'll do it again to to kind of show you. All. This time I'll use my Death Knight. Um, but I mean, obviously, the the whole point of this is to clear it without a single one of my units dying. I can show, but, but this is like a normal run. I I only have one run left. I probably won't be able to like guaranteed. Like I probably can't guarantee that I'll get a perfect clear every single time with my main team because of how much magical damage he does. But if I use my spar toy and do it on manual, then I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to to perfect clear every single time. Um, I'll do this again. I'll I'll auto the main stages, and you can use this with the stone stone golem or spar toy depending on the enemy types of like. Damage, damage type. So if they're mostly magical, then you can use the spar toy. If they're mostly physical, um, but it's not. It's not like you can't do this on every single stage. You can only use it to like. Obviously, your units need to be strong enough to clear the stages. Um, but if you, oh shit, I, sh I forgot to turn off my auto. But I should be fine. Shouldn't be that bad. All right, I got really lucky. I got really lucky and I got it. I got a temple. This is even better. If you can RNG really well and get a temple. Then what you can do is you you can spam your skills first, and then use my use my tanky skills. Um, I actually like to use my Lara's nuke instead of Owen's because they usually the frontliners aren't that strong. The last time I, I used my um, my shield too early, so he's about to use his nuke. His his bar should be up. I'm going to activate my Spartoy skills, and this should be this should be it. This is the incoming one, the one with the tornado, and I I had it. Um, Oh shit, I forgot to heal with RN. I think I'm fucked. Yeah, I fucked up. I forgot to heal with RN. That was, that was so bad. <laughs> um, but I think I think if I healed with RN, my, my Spartoy wouldn't have died. So you, you kind of want to time it. You want to time it right when he uses the nuke, and then you just want to block out that nuke, and also have enough damage to just burst him down. So um, I can't guarantee that you'll be... Like you'll 100% clear it every single time, but if you do it properly, and especially if you have good RNG and you RNG like and get a temple or something like that, then um, it's definitely a lot easier to to clear clear it with with perfect clears. So that's ba basically it. That's basically the the main strategies. Um, if you're ever stuck on a level where they where you run in and then they just 
do some weird random AoE nukes and just wipes your whole team, just be sure to, to use the Spar Toy or um, if they have some sort of physical nuke to use the, the Stone Golem. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the That was the guide for this video. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and can clear through a lot more stages now. Um, one other thing, one last thing that I wanted to mention is um, if you if you plan to help your guildies out, you can actually set your spar toy or your stone golem as mercenaries. So your guildies, if they if they can't clear through certain levels, they can use these monsters to help them clear. So they don't have to actually raise another spar toy. So if they um, if you're missing these monsters or you don't have these monsters, you can ask nicely in your guild to have someone that has them set them as as a as a mercenary and you can use them within within the levels. I think a lot of people actually don't know how to use mercenaries. It's basically when you when you go into a level, um, you click on this and then you can you can hire mercenaries. These are all my guildies monsters. So you can use your guildies monsters to help you clear through stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.